<laughs> and then there's this. The same winter storm we had dropped almost two feet of snow in some areas around Buffalo, New York. At one point, the snow was falling at a rate of two to three inches per hour hour with 35 mile per hour wind gusts. Wow. <laughs> it's all relative. Feast or famine. <laughs> Up in the 60s though, who would be doing that here? Anyway, meteorologist Matt Standridge joins us live with more and it doesn't look like we'll be seeing 60s anytime soon. No, unfortunately not. I mean, we could go to the beach here too, but it's been pretty snowy sure. here as well. I'm not sure if you want to hit the lake shore, your shores. Oh my goodness. Guys, I do have some good news. It has been really cold. So we're just talking about how Buffalo was getting some of the lake effect. So we got a lot of lake effect first and then it kind of travels down a uh, wind towards Buffalo. And then here on the backside, when the snow has kind of stopped, we've stayed with the cold air. Tonight is going to be one of those really chilly nights. Once again, back well into the teens, single digit wind chills. But there's some good news. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll finally break above freezing. In fact, a few of us may hit 40 degrees. I know that's not 60, but that's a victory. We'll take small victories around here right this time of year. I want to show you some of the current temperatures around the map right now. It's 25 near downtown, 22 in Akron and Canton. But you see that light blue color that shows you the current wind chill that's out there. And those wind chills will continue to drop as temperatures drop. But there's really nothing to warm us up tonight. I mean, there's a lot of fresh snowpack still. So that keeps us cold. In fact, how much snow? Well, a lot of us picked up at least a half foot. And then you see that purple area, that purplish pink. And towards the north and east from Cleveland, eastbound towards Ashtabula, we picked up about a foot and a little bit more than a foot. In fact, some of us even just barely east of Ashtabula got closer to the 20 inch mark. So we all got a healthy snowpack though uh, from the past couple of days. The big story after the, the snow has been just the cold temperatures. We've been below freezing for the past 60 hours and we'll do this kind of countdown several times throughout the winter, but it just kind of makes you uh, feel more appreciative when we finally break above that freezing mark and we'll do that tomorrow. So that's some good news. I wanna show you what's going on on the weather maps this evening. Things are a lot calmer. The snow has come to an end. Now, now, there are still some clouds out there and there could be a random snowflake that falls, but don't expect any more accumulation in the next couple of days. If we expand the map though, you do see with, uh, some of that lake effect that's going on in New York. So it all kind of just travels a little bit further east after these systems and we finally start to dry out. Tomorrow we may have a few peaks of sun though before Monday, another system comes on none. Now this one's not gonna be very strong. We'll have a couple rain showers and it'll change over to a few snow showers, only minor accumulations, so not a big deal. But by the end of next week, just in time for New Year's Eve, we may be talking about a much bigger system. Tonight though, things are cold. We'll be warming up quickly tomorrow afternoon. In fact, we may break above the freezing mark just after the noon hour, trying to get into the upper 30s. And a few of us may even reach some low 40s. And the reason why is that we're gonna have a south wind that's really gonna start to roar tomorrow evening. In fact, when you're looking at us now, National Zymar hour by hour forecast and can show you that wind. Tonight we we'll, won't really have a very strong southwesterly wind, but at least it's out of the southwest, right? And then tomorrow throughout the rest of the day, we quickly start to warm up as that south wind starts to increase. In fact, we may have some sustained winds close to 20 miles per hour and gusts could sometimes be closer to 30, 35 miles per hour. So it's going to be pretty windy, but at least out of the south. Here's your King Ganley Kia's 10 day outlook. Guys, we're going to stick in the 30s the next several days, but as we head towards the very, very end of 2020, you see a jump in the temperature with rain and another big cool down with more accumulating snow possible around here. So we'll be looking forward to that system as it comes a little bit closer. As you check on your forecast, we have a lot of big updates with sports. Nick has all those coming up.